Good morning, y'all. I wish I was the type to have like a really cute intro with like vibes and aesthetics, but that's just not really me on this channel. Good morning. Come on. You need to get a bath. Come on. Come on. So let's go. Come on. Come on. I don't know what her recent thing is. She's been playing so much. She doesn't want to come out the door. Come on. I had to open it for her, for her to even want to come in. I'm just like, girl, who do you really think you are? But good morning, my little shitty boo-boo baby. She's so shitty this morning. Good morning. So I'm going to give her a quick bath just on her butt. I had to literally try. Oh, and also the guy for Tash Rabbit is here. I overslept, but he stayed, thank God. And he's in here now, and he's about to go ahead and build my stuff right quick i have like eight pieces of furniture you guys she has poop on her butt and i don't know why but every time she poops it literally gets stuck like in there so i think that i have to just cut the hair around her butt so when she poops it doesn't get stuck because i have to literally give her a bath every single like only her butt though because i don't want to dry her skin but i have to give her a bath every single day because she always has some poop on her butt and she hates baths, like she hates them. But I usually just run the water like over her butt, like a little bit, and then I just massage it in. Let's see. There you go, so you can see her with a shitty self. So today I just have to take my jeans. I have a few pair of jeans I need to take to get tailored. Um, and I'm putting the deodorant underneath my boobs because I have the big boobs and they sweat really bad. So, but I also need to go to Sephora to grab um, some more of my butter drop body stuff. So I think I'm gonna do that as well. Um, and then I just need to take my clothes to the, where am I going? Taylor, I'm tripping today. I don't know what the heck is going on. So this is the pile of clothes that I had to get. It's really like only five pair of pants. It's like some old thrifts I have that I'm gonna ask them to like take in to like a little vintage look. And I have these two pants I had got from, um, I forgot the name of it, but yeah. And then this is all of my scam stuff that I had ordered from the swim collection. And it finally came in like last week. And I fit everything besides a few of the tops, but I'm just gonna send them back. I'm probably just gonna keep them in and just you know do a little Photoshop chat. But yeah, so I'm gonna try those on. Actually, no, I'm not because of my birthday. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, so I am finally um, done at there. It didn't take me long, maybe like 20 minutes. Um, I had brought some stuff. He's gonna expand some pants because like I said, when I brought a lot of my stuff, I was way smaller. But even some of the stuff I brought, I needed it smaller in the waist, but on my butt, it would make it like smush in because I buy a lot of men's pants. And obviously men's are cut differently than women. Women have like a shape of your butt. So he's gonna make it just fit better and I'm gonna pick it up next Thursday. So pretty much in like a week. 
um a week so next thursday i'm gonna have it's like seven pair of pants i'm gonna do he's gonna do everything for me he said because he has to find some custom fabric for the other two pair of pants that i really need done but um but he said if i needed the simple ones like the stretchy pants or whatever he could have them done by tomorrow but i'm not in a rush for anything so today's the 10th i'm gonna pick them up on the 18th so yeah um as you guys see i'm in my bentley i don't ever drive this car like baby girl literally has 201 221 miles and that is so much but i really drove this car i'm now on my sixth drive on this car like i don't ever go nowhere with it because it gives me so much anxiety because i'm just it's like it's a bentley you know so it's like people are gonna stare people be weird like and in atlanta i didn't drive it i drove it once in atlanta so yeah but anyway i'm about to head back home no i'm about to head to uh where am i going uh do I need to go to Trader Joe's or do I need to go? I need to go to Trader Joe's. I need to go to Sephora. But I'm trying to figure out which ones. Or should I just order it and just stay home? Let me see um, how far Trader Joe's is from here. Because I've never been to Trader Joe's in Houston yet. I only go to Whole Foods. They have one that is nine minutes. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead to Trader Joe's. I'm probably not going to vlog in there because I really just want to go ahead and get in and out or whatever. But yeah, well, we'll just see. We'll just see because I'm trying to vlog more outside. I saw the comments. So y'all want to just see me more than just see my bathroom and my kitchen, which I completely understand. For a little fa fun fact, if you guys have not listened to NBA Young Boys new album, you need to hop on that right now and go play Home Ain't Home. Go go get that. Go get that. But anyway, I'm here to Trader Joe's. What the? I'm by myself. All right, y'all. So I just left Trader Joe's. I'm literally sitting in a parking lot right now. Oh, I'm so. It's just so hot in Houston. Like I don't think people understand. Like. 95 don't sound like a lot but it's like dry heat here and it's crazy but anyway i got um this little snack i needed some snacks i haven't ate nothing all day i got this granola chip granola chocolate chip i can't even talk chocolate chip granola bar it's organic and then i got me this little organic apple apple blueberry fruit wrap that's made with organic fruit y'all know Trader Joe's you're on that real healthy shit so i used to shop here like so much in atlanta but when I moved, it was so, it wasn't far, but it was out of the way. So I just started going to Publix. Not bad. Like this. But I'm about to Google. Um, let's see. Sephora. Mm. The next, the nearest one is in the Galleria, but I'm not trying to go in the mall. So I think I'm gonna have to go somewhere like a standalone one. Cause I don't want to go in the mall because I'm gonna have to drop my stuff off at home first. I'm back in the car from Sephora. I did not vlog in there because I literally was barely able to hold my own basket. And then everyone, like, when I say everyone, I mean everyone was like, credit card, credit card, credit card, credit card. But Sephora people are way nicer than old, so I could definitely give them that. Because also people will literally follow you around. Yesterday when I was in a store, this white girl followed me around every single aisle. Like, every single aisle. But ever since I've seen that TikTok about, um... Sephora, like I mean, all the people be following, like telling each other in the headphones to go follow that person. Is that like, I peeped away more, and I haven't been to Ulta in so long because I usually always go to Sephora. But yeah. So anyway, I'm finally out, and like I said, you guys heard me say I went in there for the what, the Fenty Butter Skin Drop uh refill. What is this? Why did I spend? seven hundred six hundred and thirty seven dollars and i only and i use a thousand points because they kept asking me for 15 percent off and literally like girl i could have kept my little thousand points because they ain't even do nothing for me but child 
seven hundred dollars basically. My total was like seven something, but it brought it got brought down to three six thirty seven. But yeah, I have three big bags of stuff. Well, I have three minor bags, just like one big bag. I got this one, and I have this one, and then I have this one. But I got a lot of, you guys know, if you guys know me, you guys know, I'm way more into my true passion and still is like body care. So I got me a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to show you guys when I get home. I'm literally like 10 minutes from my house. Um, so I'm not going to go to Apple because I don't fucking Starting have a headache. So, but do I not want to, no, we're not going to go to Apple because I really need to find those headphones, but I fucked there in Atlanta in my storage unit and, uh, I don't know. 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 But anyway, I'm about to head home because I'm just like, I have a headache now because I'm in a daze. I really want some Starbucks. So hopefully I'll pass one and be able to get some Starbucks. But I'm going to hit you guys back once I am at home because I feel like I'm going to get copyrighted anyway for my little two second singing video that I did. So yeah. Hi, can I get the caramel macchiato ice venti? With, with the ice caramel macchiato yes today? with oat milk please and extra caramel you got it what else for you today um that's it thank you awesome it's not 698 excuse me we'll see you at the window okay thank you yeah so i ended up at starbucks i don't know how why well, i do not have turn right onto west <laughs> but Road. Then turn yeah right onto i need Coastal to make Boulevard. me a starbucks account i need to really go to whole foods and get some starbucks coffee because I don't have no I haven't drank coffee in so long because you know I usually drink my morning coffee but I haven't had coffee in forever but I really need to make me a Starbucks account because I go to Starbucks probably like a lot and I don't even have an account which is so dumb but yeah I just be doing dumb sh dumb stuff if you ask me like how does it make sense for you to go to a place obviously more than once so you like it and then you don't make an account that you're able to track your money like just done, child. So I'm gonna hit you guys back once I'm upstairs, giving you guys. I'm gonna be in my kitchen, but um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet. But probably my kitchen or my bathroom, doing my unboxing for my Sephora, and then the kitchen I'm gonna be doing my little tri quick Trader Joe's haul, right quick. So yeah. super excited because I actually have a professional PR person doing my PR deck for my personal brand super excited about it. you guys know like everyone knows me as like this young you know girl who made the when I was eight minutes but it's like I'm more than that you know I have more to offer <laughs> but anyway so that's another day another dollar but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my little quick um so for a haul as you guys know so the first thing I got is this Mia uh, I'm in for Foray, Foro, Luna 3. I had one like this in black, but I had a small one. And I lost a charger. So I just brought me another one because I was just already right in my face. But this is supposed to be for, um, this is a smart facial cleansing and the firming massage one. So hopefully this one does good. I've seen a board for and afters of the ones that I seen. And I was like, okay, baby girl face snatched all this extra because you guys know I have been getting a little weight in my face. So yeah. 
Then um, I also got the Necessary Body Serum. I've been hearing so much about this product. I got the unscented version. I did not want the eucalyptus because I want to mix this with some of the body care stuff that I have and I didn't want the scents to clash. So I love their packaging. So sleek, so much. Like, I love it. But um, yeah, this is the one I got. I'm super excited to use it. Like I'm really excited to see like everything that it comes with. I hate saying hype, but I'm really ready to see like, you know, what, what they got going on. Then I, I have two uh, Laneige. I got me the Glowy Bomb. I already use this, but I got me two new flavors, the Gummy Bear, and I also got the Grapefruit. I tried the Grapefruit in the car. I like it. I have the Mango one already in this, and I have like a whole bunch of lip masks already. But yeah, so that's what I got uh, so far. Then we're gonna go ahead. Like I said, I got so many body products, like so many. I already showed you guys this stuff from Trader Joe's, but the Brazilian Nut Body Scrub, and it comes, it's, I love a thick scrub. Like I love a thick scrub because it can just slap onto your skin and just be on there. Like I love it. Then I got the Coconut Body Butter right here. I'm gonna try this to see, is it also better than my Fenty Beauty one? And you guys already know I had to get my Fenty Skin dupe. I went ahead and just put the extra cartridge in here. This is my same jar, but I just got two because I run through this like hotcakes. So the next thing I got is the old, the um, the Wee, Wee um, Scalp and Body Scrub. This one smells so good. Like this one, this one smells so good. Like I love it. It smells amazing. This is how what it looks like. I got this one, it smells super good, super good. Then also I got the scalp and body scrub. I had this one before and it smells good as well, but I love that one. That one smells like really, really good. And you guys already know as my Ulta haul, I got the Touchland. Touchland is my favorite hand sanitizer ever. And I got these two, this is a rose water one. And um, I also got the Power Mist Rainwater. And then as you guys know, yesterday I got the um which one is this the citrus grove and i got the watermelon and i got the aloe one but i don't under, i don't know the difference between um so yeah anyway <laughs> then the last few things what well, the last four things i got obviously is body care and i have me the drunken elephant the sugar coffee almond milk scrub when i tried this i had this a long time ago in atlanta i loved it like i loved it i loved everything about it i love the texture i love the foam i love the smell like i don't mind it at all so i got this one this is the one i got and then the last Three things I got are, I got two skin fixes. I got a Resurface Plus, the AHA plus BHA Renewing Cream. And this one is not the body. I have the body scrub, or well, the one that you put on before you get in the shower. And I also have the wipes. But um, I wanted to try that one. And then also I got the Barrier Plus a Lipid Boost Body Cream, just for some extra hydration in my skin. And this one was also a Allure's Best of Beauty 2020, 2018. So yeah, we're gonna try these out. Super excited about these two. And the last thing I got, I wanted to try the Paula's Choice one of this soothing body lotion, but um, they were out of it. So he recommended this one, it's called KP, the First Aid Beauty one and the soothing body lotion with 10% AHA. As you guys know, I don't have acne on my body anywhere, but also I, summer is, Summer is kind of over, but I also always take care of my skin, especially in the winter, because my skin gets so dry in the winter, which to me will make my stretch marks look way more prominent. And also, it'll cause me to have more stretch marks. And then also, it'll just make my skin really dry and flaky and everything like that. But yeah, I love a little, I love body care. Like anybody who knows me knows I love, love, love body care. So this is not a shock to anybody who knows me when I went and spent $700 on a whole bunch of body care stuff. And I'm gonna place everything in my shower. You guys already see I put all my tree hut scrubs in there from Ulta. And I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and cook because now my stomach is growling bad. I guess that coffee didn't hold me over like I thought it was. And it's also about a storm in Houston. So I'm just gonna watch me a little movie. I've been really watching, like I said, um, what's the name of that show? P 
Pea Valley, and I love it. But I haven't been able to watch it because my um, my Stars app has been tripping. So hopefully today it could get itself together so that I'm able to finish my show. Because girl, no, Stars is too expensive for me not to be able to use the app. Absolutely not. So uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna also download the app on this because it just gave me a QR code to use it, but I don't even like pink. I know I'm say I don't like it. I'm a neutral tone person. Anybody who knows me knows I'm very neutral tone, but I got this, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna hit you guys back later. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff up and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking so as I get done. Like I said, I'm probably gonna have just some white rice with some ground turkey because it's already there and I already brought it and some spinach something real light because i'm not starving but i really haven't had a good meal all day i only been having little snacks as you guys seen on the vlog earlier so yeah hopefully this vlog was not boring and hopefully this vlog has been more interesting as you guys know obviously i'm not a professional vlogger or anything like that but my days are kind of very neutral and especially with me finna hire another assistant my days are going to be more neutral but now we're getting to the end of the year it's where i'm getting more busier so i'm gonna that's why i'm trying to start picking up vlogging because i actually have stuff to show you guys so yeah tomorrow like i said i get my day started at nine o'clock in the morning due to the fact of the guy for task probably is going to come and build all of my furniture out tomorrow so the only thing i have to do is run to ikea go pick up me two mattresses <laughs> Alright y'all, so good afternoon. I've been up since 10 o'clock this morning because we're on day two of getting all of my furniture built. Um, he's basically done. He just has to finish my two beds and then I found this one glass dolly that I want him to build. I don't know where the instructions are. So I'm hoping that he's gonna be able to just eyeball it and be able to figure it out himself. Cause he's been doing everything good, but I've just been real in a big mode of me just getting decorate, like decorating my house. Because you know, I buy, you know, stupid shit. Like I'm not even gonna say stupid shit, but like I buy stupid stuff. I buy a lot of like, you know, designer and stuff. And it's like, I be realizing girl, like your home is not a home. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been trying to like, you know, get, uh, get, on like get the vibes on it's just making my house a home now so because even with my other house i didn't really get a chance to decorate it because like really after the whole situation happened i moved so it was like um so it was just like yeah so i didn't really have time um i didn't really have time to do that but i'm ordering my tvs from best buy i'm gonna show you all the furniture that i got you could kind of see a little bit he built one of my chairs that's gonna go on my balcony and i think i want to order a few more um because i love it i think it's the cutest chair ever and i think i'm gonna order some more because i always have like a friend or something with me and we always be sitting out there or i should just order like a couch i'm trying to figure that out as well but honestly though a lot of people have been sleeping on ikea i always been saying that ikea to me has really really good furniture and the quality is not you you have to get certain things but the quality um the quality is not bad if you ask me and especially for if you're more like rental friendly or you don't also want to spend ten thousand twenty thousand dollars on a damn couch like you could get normal things that normal people use on a day-to-day -day basis like it's okay like so yeah that's basically um everything that i have going on for today i gotta turn the music down because i want to get copyrighted chef my little my little two dollars i'll be making on here but um so I got my box in today from Jaded, as I had mentioned earlier. And I'm gonna show you guys, I got me just a few things from here. I'm gonna try them on as well. But I got me the crochet bandeau bikini top, the mini shorts, the blue denim jacket with the Y2K type of look. I got the extreme low rise jeans that goes with the jacket. And I got the cargo fit trousers and I got the vintage cherry print 
a corset. So, I'm gonna show you guys. I really wanted to wear this corset thing tonight. Cause oh my God, but I think it's gonna be, well, I don't even know. Cause these are kind of UK sizes. It actually may fit perfectly. Let me see. And I'm gonna try them on too. So y'all don't even have to. But this is what it looks like. I got everything sized up. So if I needed to get it taken in, I can. That's basically what I've been doing for every single thing now I've been um, buying is literally sizing up because I don't even know my sizing anymore. So this is the pants that it comes with. Super cute, they're a little short, but um, I got an extra large in these. I don't really know because like I said, I was a small, an extra small, small, then I went to a medium, then I went to a small again. Now it's like I could fit a large. So it's like, I just don't know my sizing anymore. And like I said, if it's too big, I just go ahead and have them take it in. This is a little crocheted bottoms. I thought these were super cute. Oh my God, I hope I could fit these. This is a medium large, but they have a little bit of stretch on them, but I hope I could fit these. These are so cute. And I got the top to go with it as well. One second. So this top, ooh baby, this top is gonna be Ooh, it's gonna be a little stretch, but it has, thank God it has some strings in the back. But it has a top and it goes with the bottom. So this is a cute little one too. And I got the, I got a medium large in this top, but usually for tops, as you guys know, I am very, 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 very top heavy. Even after my breast reduction, I'm still like super top heavy. But, um, but yeah, and then this is the last, thing I got and from here and like I said I'm gonna try everything on right quick <sighs> so that you are able to see everything this is the jacket I had a look for this I got the jacket you probably can't really tell like little in border a little like baby fat 2000s look that's the look I was going for with this fit and then I had got the low rise jean to go with it. And it obviously the jeans flare out, but yeah, so, but I think I'm probably gonna have to get them taken in just a little bit. I'm not really sure yet, but I know UK sizes run small and this came from, I think the UK, don't quote me though. And then I also got my little cute sticker um, book. So I'm gonna go take a shower because he's almost done building the beds. He's back from lunch now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take me a quick shower and then go run to Ikea, and run to Target. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to go to Balenciaga tonight. I mean today, if it's not like too, too, too packed at the mall, um, I could be able to go and, but I actually don't feel like going to Balenciaga, I'm not gonna hold you. But um, I was gonna try to get this shirt I seen, but I could just go without it. And yeah, so I'm gonna try on his clothes. Let's we'll take a shower, try on his clothes, and hopefully he'll be done or almost done, and then I'll be able to head to Target and head to IKEA.